Hello, this is Frank Mealy at HeartlandDiaryUSA.com, bringing you news every conservative can use. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date. Tonight, we're going to listen to Trish Regan of Fox Business, one of the most underestimated hosts on TV, as she breaks down exactly how the blame for the Minneapolis riots and the rest of the political violence we're seeing should be cast at the Democratic Party, the House leadership, and the rest of the Democrats who intend to lawlessly bring down this president. Regan correctly points out that we are close to a civil war, if not of armies, of people fighting in the streets. It's a scary situation. Listen. Tonight, amid a desperate, secretive, undemocratic, and unconstitutional attempt by a handful of key Democrats to undo the votes of 63 million Americans, our nation teeters on the brink of a civil war. Listen. Listen and watch. Because in the streets of Minneapolis, a mob of anti-Trump protesters burned Trump MAGA hats, hurled urine into the crowd while shouting obscenities at police, and even as the night wears on, chase an innocent man whom they identified as a Nazi because he emerged from the rally. They threatened him until he finally manages to outrun them. Police are forced to tame this angry mob with pepper spray. That mob's anger towards President Trump and towards their fellow Americans that dare to think differently, the anger cannot be tamed. Tonight, it's growing. And Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi and Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib and the rest of the so-called squad that refuse to condemn hate. Instead, they're feeding it, recklessly pushing our country to a breaking point. Good evening, everyone. I am Trish Regan. Our nation is now being rocked to its very core. Americans' belief in our government, our trust in our institutions that are the very foundation on which we have built the most prosperous land in the entire world, it's all being challenged as Democrats attempt a kind of coup to undo the power of American voters. They are helping to feed a narrative that makes it okay to push violence and hate just so long as it is hate for the president and the president's supporters. And this is the result. This is the result, and it's sickening, it's barbaric, and it is dangerous. The left has lost all respect and tolerance for the right, something that has increasingly been encouraged by leaders on Capitol Hill. You get out and you create a crowd, and you push back on them, and you tell them they're not welcome. They go low, we kick them. <laughs> That's what this new Democratic Party is about. You cannot be civil with a political party that wants to destroy what you stand for, what you care about. Bullies don't win. And no. I said, baby, they don't. Because we're going to go in there and we're going to impeach them. You know what? That kind of rhetoric? It feeds these masses. It feeds this. Watch again. You know... There was a time in history when the U.S. was just as fractured, when people refused to see others as people, when politics got in the way of family, of decency, and faith in our government. I'm talking about the 1850s. The result was the darkest moment in American history, the Civil War. And we're near a Civil War right now. I don't mean a war in quite a literal historic sense. I don't believe there's going to be armies and generals leading battles. I certainly hope not. But we are at a breaking point in terms of an emotional civil war with violence that will spill into our streets. It's happening now. Our leaders must take responsibility for this. They cannot permit this violence, nor can they move forward to undo an election by refusing to follow constitutional and historic precedent. They are shattering Americans' faith in them, and the result could be catastrophic. 